In this video, we look at the new YubiKey Bio to see if it's more secure. About six months ago, I did a video on what the YubiKey is and how it works because I couldn't figure it out. So um, a lot, a lot of you have uh, have watched it and commented on it and found out through my experience how it actually works. So I'm really happy about that. Um, but I now got a YubiKey Bio. So the uh, the magic thing about this is it has a fingerprint sensor on it. Now, first of all, why did I get another YubiKey? Well, for two reasons. One is that well, it has fingerprint on it, so I thought, well, that should be more secure, shouldn't it? The other thing is that I lost one of the UB keys from the first video. <laughs> yes, that's why you should always have two UB keys, because it's a real pain if you lose all of them, or if you just have one, lose that one. So I lost one, so I need to replace one. And uh, Ubico very kindly sent me this, um, the new UB key bio. So I want to figure out how that works. It has a fingerprint sensor on it. And that means that it's linked to you more because the, remember the the old UB key, oh, <laughs> the old UB key had uh, is is just a touch. Basically, you make contact with little you know metal things on it, and it inserts the token at that time. So anyone could use UB key if you have it. It's a bit like your key to your front door. If anyone has a key, they can open the front door. With this, it has a fingerprint sensor on it. So I'm assuming that means it's linked to my fingerprint. But I'm not actually sure, so we've got to figure that out. Um, but that's enough talking. Let's have a look at the actual device in a bit more close up. All right, hang on. So that's the YubiKey Bio. It comes on this nice piece of green cardboard, but let's just take that off, shall we? Okay, so we've got here it says get started, I guess. YubiKey, okay, well, well, we're going to take it out, aren't we? So let's have a look. Just like the other box, really neat. Now it has a QR code on the other side, and I still don't know. I blur it out in the video, but it's up. It's right there. I just don't know yet if it's important or not. Um, but you're not going to get to see it. But there's a QR code there in the number. Anyway, that's the UB key. Now there's a fingerprint sensor. It's right there, as you can see. That round thing there. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very neat. I've got the USB-A. There's also a USB-C version, uh, but that was sold out. So I got the USB-A. And I guess that will that work. I just can't use it with my phone. This, as far as I know, does not have NFC. This doesn't say anything about NFC. No, nope. it's just a FIDO edition. Okay, yep. So let's try and plug it in and see if we can hook this up with LastPass as well. All right. So I'm back in LastPass here. That's where I'm going to try and set up the YubiKey, of course. So let me just insert it. Right, doesn't seem like anything happened as such. So let's see if we can connect it to LastPass as a you know multi-factor authentication tool. All right, all right. So I'll go into my I think it's account settings, and under multi-factor options, and down here I have a YubiKey. And there's a support for fingerprint. No, I think it's going to be YubiKey here. So I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to add another YubiKey there. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to try and touch, use the fingerprint sensor now and see what happens. So I use my thumb. Nothing. All right, well, this seems to indicate that I will have to set up the YubiKey somehow. So let's figure that out. All right, let's go to Yubico. So I'm now on the Yubico start page. Uh, so, okay, ready to get started? Yep. I have the Bio series, the Fido edition here, that's the one. Okay, so I've plugged it in. Yep, we're good with that. And what else do we have to do? I have a backup key. Fingerprint enrollment. Aha. Yep, as expected. I will have to set it up first. All right, so I'm going to enroll using Windows because that's what I'm on. 
Yeah, we can open settings, okay. So this opens up with... Yeah, it's open on the other screen, apologies, but it's under the account sign-in option. So I can touch my security key. So now I've touched the security key, so I can create a pin. Okay, I'm going to add a pin. Okay, so I want to set up the fingerprint because I think I have to touch it multiple times. Okay, so no, I'm going to make sure that's me. Good. Okay. Oh, okay, lift and rest. All right, so we're going to do that. Okay, use another finger. Yeah, I'm going to add another finger. I'm going to add this, my index finger here. Okay, we're touching. Touching. Okay, I think that's enough. So done with that. And close it. Cool. I'll just show you. This is what opened up that yeah, I couldn't scroll over. So that's where it opened up when I said allow to open the settings. Um, and then it's under the security key here. Okay, cool. So now it's set up with my fingerprint. So I can probably sign into Windows with this as well. Interesting. All right, let's go back to my last pass. And now in the YubiKey 3, let's try and see if that will work with the fingerprint. No, still nothing. Why does that not work? Okay. So last pass. Oh, last pass is not compatible, it seems, with the bio series. How interesting. All right, last pass. Um, you better get your act together, I think, because one password works, apparently, but I use last pass. Um, okay. Should we try and do it with Facebook? So here's me on Facebook. Woohoo! Look, it's me. And I'm going to go to settings. Oh, God, where they put everything? No. Here we go. Settings and privacy. Settings. And. Oh, this is always special, isn't it? Security and login. There we go. Okay. Two factor auth. Yep. Okay, can I edit that and then add another key, hopefully? There we go. So here we have security keys. I'm going to manage my keys. Okay, so I'm going to add a new security key. And I inserted it. Yeah. Okay. Ins it's already inserted. External. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Touch it. Now we try. Hey, that's better. Lars's security key. Uh, I'm just going to call this Lars's. Is it Lars's? I don't know. UB key bio. There we go. Cool. So now I've added the UB key bio, and it already had Lars's security key. So that's the one I added. See? You see, it's been oh, seven months. Yep, about seven months since I did the first video. So now I've got a bio one, so click OK. Cool, so now that's associated with Facebook. So if I sign into Facebook from another device, I will have to use this key, or the other key that was registered. Um, obviously not the one I lost. Uh, so there we go. That's very good. So don't forget to name them. Um, I think that's it. So now it works. So that's it. That's the YubiKey bio. Now, I think it is more secure because there's a fingerprint reader on it, so it physically has to be me. Obviously, there's another setup process. If you watched my first video, you'll see that, you know, because you just have to be present with the original YubiKey, like you just have to touch it, no matter who touched it, then this requires you to register the fingerprint, which is stored on the key in a, what they call a secure hardware location. So whatever that means, I'm not sure. I'm not a security expert. Um, but it, it seemed to work really well. Now, it didn't work with LastPass. That was a bit of a surprise, to be honest, but I think that'll probably come soon. I can't imagine them not supporting uh, something like the YubiKey Bio. It does work with, as you saw, Facebook, but also 
you know, your Microsoft account, your Google account, your Apple account, your One Password, Okta, Salesforce, a whole bunch of other apps are, are supporting the YubiKey bio. And I think it makes sense. Why would you not have your fingerprint on it if it's your YubiKey, right? It's a little bit bigger than if you saw my first video, there's a, a Nano one, which is just tiny. That usually just lives in my laptop and I just touch it because that I need it um, all the time, especially for LastPass. So when LastPass does support this, I'll probably use this more, but for now I'm gonna use it as a backup as well. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, anything I missed with this YubiKey bio, let me know in the comments below. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment, yeah, all of those things. And until next time, thanks for watching. Um, is the audio actually on? Yes, it is. Very good. All right, let's just try again.